Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Adonai. Welcome to the 6th Exodus program. Thank you for listening. The name of this segment is The Judgment for Pretending to Be Israel Upon the Inhabitants Who Say They Are Israel. This is the judgment for those who pretend to be God's people. I want to read to you the book of Isaiah chapter 1 in its entirety. And there will be no comments. Before we start reading, I want to say, The Most High does not delight in judgment or the death of anyone, nor do I. And those who love righteousness does not delight in the death of those who are innocent, and nor will God bring judgment upon the innocent, because God is holy, and he is a righteous God. The Holy One is true, and he is faithful. Okay, now let us begin. I will read the book of Isaiah, the prophet of God, the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 in its entirety. And there will be no comments at the end of this segment. I want to say to you, thank you in advance for listening. Now, let's begin reading God's word from the prophet of God. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amaz, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth its owner, and the ass its master's crib. But Israel, the inhabitants of Israel, of Judah, Jerusalem, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, know not my people does not consider all sinful nation a people laden with iniquity a seed of evil doors children that are corruptors they have forsaken the Lord they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger they are gone away backwards why should ye be stricken any more ye will revolt more and more the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint from the whole sole of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and petrifying sores they have not been closed neither bound up neither mollified with ointment your country is desolate your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it in your presence, and it is desolate 
as overthrown by strangers and the daughters of Zion is left as a cottage in the vineyard as a lodge in the garden of cucumbers as a besieged city Egypt the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant we should have been like unto Gomorrah hear the word of the Lord ye rulers of Sodom give ear unto the law of God ye people of Gomorrah to what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord. I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats when you come to approach before me who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts bring no more vain obligations incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and the Sabbath and calling of the assemblies I cannot away with. It is iniquity. Even the solemn assemblies, the meetings, your new moons and your appointed feast days, my soul Hateth, they are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash you make you clean put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes lease to do evil cease to do evil learn to do well seek judgment relieve the oppressed judge the fatherless plead for the widow come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. How is the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy silver is become dross. They mix wine with water. The princes are rebellious. And companions of thieves, everyone loves gifts. And follows after rewards. 
they judge not the fatherless, neither does the cause of the widow come unto them. They said, The Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, Ah, oh, I will ease me of my adversaries and avenge me of my enemies. And I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin. And I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterwards, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her comforts with righteousness. And the destruction of the transgressors and of the sinners shall be together and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed for they shall be ashamed of the oaks which they have desired and they shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen Oh, excuse me, may I stop here, please? I need to uh, highlight this. You know, uh, people that are blind and stupid don't know any better. The Lord here is saying to you, uh, inhabitants of Jerusalem, He's saying, you're going to be ashamed because of the idols you have made in Israel. Let me tell you, you know all your idols, so I'm not going to name them for you. Uh, but I will explain this to you. He's saying the oaks means the trees. Trees means pictures because you use pictures. Oak trees means paper, and paper means pictures. Pictures means images. And the gardens are your gardens that you made, your groves. And you know the Lord do not like groves. And these are your idols by high faith. And all the, um, the gardens that you made, all the bushes and all those things you made, all the pretty little groves that you made all those idolatries this is what the lord is saying to you ignorant people for ye shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth and as a garden that hath no water and the strong shall be as tow and the maker of it as a spark and they shall both burn together and none shall quench them this ends the segment of the punishment of those who pretend to be Hebrew and take on God's name Israel thank you for listening have a good day